Tuesday night saw a long, long trip down to Somerset and a, for, a phenomenal performance by the team that finished Yeovil Town 1, Altrincham 1. And we're talking to the man who uh, produced uh, heroics after the uh, 15th minute coming on for the injured Tony Thompson. It's uh, Connor Hampson, England's number one. Connor, first of all, um, was there a plan that you were, you were going on to uh, be the sub goalkeeper if anything happened to Tony? No, not uh, not that I'm aware of. Anyway, uh, just it all came about when Tomo went down and the gaffer I think cast a few people on the bench if they fancied it. Don't think anybody did. So I was doing a warm up actually. Then I came back and he said, "Do you fancy it?" I said, "I'll go in if you want me to." And uh, that was it. Yeah, I just got the pink shirt on, got the gloves on, and kitted up, and out I went. And what's the uh, the sum of your goalkeeping experience? Horrendous, never again. No, I don't, obviously if I was needed to go in again, I would do. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it was pleasant though. No. You just it's totally different to what you're, you're used to. You've got everything in front of you. Obviously, if you're on the ball, there's only you between the potential attacker and the net. Um, so I wouldn't say it was pleasant, although you know it was good to be back on the pitch. <laughs> Fortunately, uh, you got a good early touch by punching a corner away for a, another corner and then you made a really good save from Adi Yusuf. Yeah, just obviously he shot and I just thought, mm, got to get down quick here and just use my legs. Probably should have done that for the goal. Um, just what I'm used to, using my legs. And, you know, the gaffer gave me a few instructions, punch things, don't come and catch. And, yeah, just, just, make, just be as big as you can and make sure you get in the way of your shots. It seemed to take the team a little bit of uh, time to just adjust to having you there instead of Tony because obviously we've got a, a real set way of playing. But as the game wore on, we got back into our rhythm. Yeah, I think I, you know, I was a little bit nervous, I won't lie, about um, going in. And I think I think I, read, I heard the gaffer uh, on an in interview saying it felt a little bit like 11 versus 10. And I think obviously the team just knew that they had a keeper in there that wasn't a keeper, so they had to try and be compact, maybe not be as expansive as, li as we like to be. Um, but yeah, I think the longer that the game went on, we were a little bit more comfortable. We did open them up a few couple of times, had a couple of efforts on goal. Um, yeah, it was a good result at the end of the day. You'll have been a bit disappointed uh, with the goal, but you did make some really good reaction saves in that second half. Yeah, it's a shocker. I should have just kicked it away. Um, I think at the time you think you can get some on it or if he shoots and you go to kick it with your foot then you know if you miss it if he hits it hard and you miss it and it goes in anyway you look a bit of a fool so I tried to get down and, and take it in obviously it fumbled out and he, he scored but yeah I think there was a couple of saves the one in the first half that, you sp that we've spoken about and then um, I think from the header which was a bit of a reflex and then the lads did well for me to you know clear it away um, but yeah I'm quite happy with those two. Fantastic defending by the team. Everybody got stuck in, and there was two or three fantastic melees. Yeah, I think you know, in front of me, definitely like Moulton and Hannigan. I think they um, they they kind of like that game, you know, when they're clipping balls into them and they can go and win things. But yeah, like you say, the whole team stuck together. We were nice and compact. We were hard to beat, and then we we broke on them when we could. Um, but yeah, a few, few melees on the goal line. I think KJ saved one that might have gone in. Um, yeah, we, I think we we did well to get the point. And did you get some stick from the the Oval fans? Yeah, a little bit. I think <laughs> Multi uh, threw me a, a bottle to begin with at the second half, and I dropped it. I think that was a uh, you know, that, that was quite funny. And then um, they were they were saying a few things that I'm not sure I can repeat on here, so I'll I'll leave that out. But I'm sure you celebrated uh, when we got the equaliser. Yeah, definitely. And I went over to them and I celebrated in front of them after they gave me a bit of stick. I was taking my time with goal kicks, or what seemed to be taking my time. And they, were, they were giving me a few signs as well with the hands, a few hand gestures when I was looking back in there. So yeah, it was nice to score that equaliser and, and celebrate in front of them. And uh, Saturday, it's the FA Cup against uh, Southport. So uh, I'm guessing you're hoping uh, you're back as an outfield player. Yeah, hopefully I get a gig back at left back now. Uh, <laughs> hopefully Goldie's back in and I can resume my left back position. You're back on the bench for the game against uh, Maidenhead on uh, Saturday and that's uh, really good news to see you back uh, as, as you were for uh, for Tuesday. So things going quite well with the recovery? Yeah, I've only been, I think it's five weeks post-op. Um, so probably ahead of schedule. I know Multi, I think it took him a little bit longer. Uh, but full credit, you know, to 
Muzzin to Spano, they've done all my prehab work with me, so before my operation I did loads of work, loads of core stuff to make sure that when I came back I was right and I'm feeling good. Um, a little bit stiff after Tuesday to be honest, but yeah, I feel good. Um, you know, training tonight and then hopefully I can see what happens Saturday and maybe get back in. FA Cup, it's always a very exciting competition and uh, you were part of the, the the team that got to Portsmouth two uh, years ago. That was a terrific run. It would be great to get something uh, similar to that this season. Yeah, definitely. I know the club, you know, they kind of pride themselves on the run that they have in the FA Cup. You know, we, we did that run and got to Portsmouth. Hopefully we can do something similar. We can hopefully we can win Saturday and then who knows what happens. You know, you've got round one, round two and then hopefully the big boys come in. So, you know, I've never been into the third round. That would be a, a real good thing to get to.